Hi, this is Bill. Uh, so I'm bringing up the goodies from Hans Wormhead. Um, this is about time speeding up, and I totally agree that um, uh, time is speeding up. So this is a good uh, a good topic. Um, I just want to touch on this subject here about how you could measure or uh, uh, somehow quantify or uh, uh, at least uh, get some methodology to, to analyze this stuff. And these are some important comments made by a user called End Times. I don't watch movies or TV anymore, but many years ago I watched the 1939 film Gun with the Wind and recall it was about four hours long. If someone were to watch it today, shouldn't it, it take them closer to five of our shorter hours to, to watch it? Assuming that powers that be didn't cut scenes or edit it any way to shorten it. I wonder if anyone has looked into this, comparing the original run times of all films with how long it actually, uh, sorry, how long it actually takes to watch them now. So this was an old idea of mine, but I'm sure I'm not the only person thinking about this, uh, about comparing the run times of the original movie. It, this can also go for uh, an audio uh, file, uh, i.e. a song, uh, to what actually, to the, the amount of time it actually takes now, I mean right now, in this age, day and age, to uh, to run that uh, file and how much time it amounts right now. By the way, I agree that time is flying by, which is great because I can't wait for Jesus to return. That's a nice idea, I suppose. Yeah, so, uh, if the original Gun with the Wind is four hours long, uh, so it took four hours, I don't know, like 40 years ago, let's suppose, or uh, something like that to watch it. Then now it should uh, take, uh, take more, I suppose. But if time is uh, in fact speeding up, uh, those four hours, uh, uh, it should take, uh, in my opinion, the same uh, amount, four hours, but if you uh, if you look at the original uh, Gun with the Wind, uh, the idea is it should uh, be like, uh, let's say, uh, it should be the, I mean the runtime, excuse me, should be shorter, okay? So the idea is because time is speeding up, uh, as Hans said, of course, uh, they had more time to, to, to do something back then in 1939. So if you take the original gun with the wind, it should last uh, less than five hours today or less than four hours. So this is the idea to compare the, the run time. Um, and this is the reply from Mr. Hans. I'm not sure how that works specifically. Have the run times changed? Um, is it similar to really old footage that looks super sped up? Of course it looks like that. But since it's more recent than the effect, but since it's more recent than that, the effect isn't as large. Yeah. Uh, if the movie now plays at a more sped, sped up rate and has the same play time would the change be noticeable when you watch that's a good question yeah that's a good question um i don't know how it all works so this is an important um, a topic and of course it should be analyzed by means of experiment and I will suggest an experiment um, such an experiment such a methodology I will suggest it in one of my future videos you'll see it and uh, I, I I believe I can actually 
perform this experiment in a YouTube video simply comparing some uh, some original uh, runtime of a movie or a song uh, you'll see it uh, to how long it takes right now it's an interesting topic it's a very interesting topic you have any old sources for the runtime of gun with the wind original reviews that mention the runtime other old sources that might show runtimes do they match what they say today so the idea is to is to get the source you see get the source the original source like a piece of uh, of newspaper or uh, something like that to show to to have as as proof the original runtime but hopefully this won't be faked and even information like this that is found online that can be changed yeah of course unfortunately you cannot trust anything online now um, yeah so this is uh, you need to get an old movie reel and play that well you don't actually need an old movie reel and I'll I'll tell you what you can take and if you think of old movie you can take a, a, a movie from the 1980s from an original video player cassette yeah and uh, and measure the runtime now and compare it with the runtime which is uh, written on the cassette yeah on the on the video cassette and that would be an interesting experiment to do just to compare all the data and then put it um, all together if you if you catch my drift so this would be the the idea and this was uh, the end times comment um, yes i wouldn't put it past them to edit it as i mentioned in my first comment let's hope that someone with an interest in these matters and who has the resources will get and play one of these old movies on a reel to reel um yeah so man okay what can i tell you um this is an interesting subject and i'll be returning with uh, um some some experiments i don't know when but i was gonna do it i was gonna do it and i have made a promise to a to a friend of mine that i will do this so i'll do this i'll do these experiments and we'll see um and we'll see what's what uh so the idea is take an old uh, okay take an old movie okay let's say it's a movie from 1940 yeah gone with the wind so if now time runs faster they had more time then four hours then let's say is more time than today so those four hours in today's in today's time should be actually less it should be less yeah yeah if you take the original real it should amount to to less you know that in fact th the movie is four hours yeah but in today's time if you take the the original the original real it should amount to less this is my opinion on it and i will prove uh hopefully in my next video i will prove it with uh, uh, something I'll try to uh, to bring something to the table this is a very interesting subject and you can measure it this is an old idea of mine and I do believe a lot of you who are searching for the truth you thought of the same thing and Hans uh, he's got the goodies he's got goodies in his uh, in his backpack uh, I'm just kidding uh, he is well intended and he he has good ideas and of course i believe these ideas are inspired by by god of course so there's something happening a lot of us are awakening today and uh, hans wore a hat uh, whatever hat he is wearing he is speaking some important truth so don't discard him even though he might call you a a tranny he might call you anything 
you have to to analyze his work at face value and his work is um, from my point of view is one of the best today I'm sorry to, to say that because I don't like this guy uh, he's, he's cocky he's, uh, uh, I do believe he's, he's dumb to some ex aspects although he calls everybody dumb but his work is good and he's, uh, he's inspired by, by God in my opinion so don't discard him check out his work uh, this is good work and um, okay and at the end what can I say have a nice uh, day have a nice evening whatever uh, see you god bless